Hey guys, it's cleaning day today. We're gonna clean the black, the surface. We're gonna clean the pistons and we're gonna clean the valves. So mainly we're preparing the black and the valves for the heads. Even though I still don't have them. Anyways, what I got is this, 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 a bunch of these, this, and this. So, because I have some kind of sand, dirt buildup here, I'm just going to use, you know, I'm not touching, I'm not going to use this razor for any of these surfaces. That's a big no-no. This is aluminum, it's easily scratchable. This is only, and notice the block is slightly tilted. So whatever dirt comes off of it, it's gonna fall down right on the floor. Okay, just to get this dirt off, this build up here. Uh, that's plenty good for me. Anywhere else? No, we're good. Oh, okay, never mind. A little bit here. Just the big stuff. <clears throat> now I'm gonna use PB Blaster. Wet the surface. Now notice how this piston is out. Just make sure you know it's out all the way, so it's easily accessible. It should be fine. And using this brush here, I know some guys are gonna say, "Oh, use, you know, use something softer. This may scratch the surface." Now I won't be pushing too hard. So just light, very lightly work the surface. So you saw me using the, the big brush on the drill, uh, only on the piston, you know, slowly, barely pushing it, clean off the piston, actually came out, well, so-so, you know, I'm not going to get into it too much, just wanted to get rid of these big chunks, it's never going to be perfect, 
I don't want to spend too much time on it. Anyways, and use the very super soft brush on the Dremel. This actually worked perfectly for the actual surface. Again, barely pressing on it using PB Blaster, whatever lubricant you've got. I'm actually going to have to clean the other side with just plain oil because I, I ran out. Anyways, this is fine. It's still going to get some cleaning right before the head is uh, or the gasket is applied. Right now we're going to check for straightness or level, whatever you want to call it. So straight edge. This is 1500. Perfect. Just trying to stick it underneath the straight edge in several areas. As you can see, it is not going in. It wants to go underneath here, but it's dragging, probably because there's maybe some dirt over here. Like I may, I may have to work on it a little bit in this area. Yeah, I can actually feel a bump over here. Same story over here on this area. So yeah, I mean, but it's it's barely like in this. Okay, see it is going underneath here. Let's check. 2000. Also going in but dragging. So there could be just a bump. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Never mind, I was actually... Okay, I bet you if I move it over a little bit. Yeah. It's not gonna go in. Let's go back to the 1500. Yeah, yeah, there is a, this is actually, this small area here is actually higher than the surface, mating surface, so yeah, so just putting it in the wrong area. But I'm pretty sure this block is good. I did check it when it was still dirty, because if it was, if it would be bad, then uh, this would be due to overheating most of the time. But if it if the if the engine doesn't overheat, never overheats, then your block will most likely be fine. All right, that's how you check it for straightness. I'm gonna quickly, well, not quickly. It is kind of time consuming. Do the other side, and then we're gonna turn our attention to the valves. Next day guys, I think my battery went dead. Now we're going to work on the valves. Oddly enough, the intake valves, some of these, this, this one looked just like this one. You can see a lot of carbon buildup on this guy. These are usually clean on the faces, the intake valves. Their faces are clean. This one already cleaned. And this one looked exactly like that one that I just showed you. These two I did not touch. And you can see they are much better. These are the exhaust. I did clean one of them. This, this one, no, not this one. This one I cleaned. Usually these look terrible. But in this case, it's the other way around. Anyways, what I'm gonna do I'm not going to take a bunch of them and, and, you know, go to my cleaning station there and clean them up. I'm going to take each there, finish it, come back, put it in the same spot and continue. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the worst one, which is this one, the intake one. Notice I'm not wearing any gloves. 
you need to hold on to this guy like to your nuts now the the area that you need to worry about is from here all the way to the top usually you know guys tape this up so in case they don't nick it or whatnot I, I don't I just you know I'm just really careful about this whole process and I don't use gloves I want to have maximum grip possible and that's that that's pretty much it if you drop this that's it if this comes flying off the wire wheel you, you're gonna most likely need a new one all right let's get to it Now I did not go all the way this from here to I don't know somewhere here whatever the valve drives on the on its seat right and it's uh, whatever you call it the valve seal so like I said before this area here see you see I almost went up there you can still see the dirt line here this is smooth I'm gonna leave this alone you could You know, this is so light, I'm not even gonna, gonna worry about it. Now, this is a clean valve. This, I don't know if I'm gonna even bother to do the intake valves, maybe a little bit. I'm talking about lapping, but for sure I'm doing the exhaust valves. All right, I'm gonna do all these. I'm not gonna record it, because I got a limited area to set the camera there. So I'll see you in a few. Guys, valves are done. Did I forget one? Man, I forgot one, okay. Almost all are done. Anyways, so remember how one of these was all black, or two on the passenger side had? The driver's side actually had two pretty black buildup over here and one was pretty wet, which pretty much means your valve seals are leaking. That usually happens from old age sitting, usually sitting, if you're not using the car, uh, sits a lot, you know, the valve seals, they get dry and uh, tend to leak later on. And you can always tell after sitting for a few days, you start your car up and it smokes for the very first minute or two until the engine warms up you get uh, you know, oil from your tailpipe. That's, that's usually your valve, se valve seals. All right, since I'm pretty much done getting ready for uh, lapping, I'm gonna designate an area, this area, for the valve lapping, and I'm gonna uh, run you through the process. Guys, check this out. Cleaning up the head headers. This is, uh, well, it's clean, good enough. But I thought I'd mention this, look at this, this is, we had a leak right over here, from here to here. So what I do in this case, take a file like this, break off the big chunks, you know, and then take a block, sending block, whatever, 400, 600, whatever you got, and just go to town. And voila, you're really looking to clean this area here. That's it, this is done. I mean, you, you want to do the whole thing, you want to ensure the gasket sits nicely on the whole surface. And you see how this was a high spot? So let's say, you know, let's say I would leave this alone and leave this a high spot. It would not seal properly in this area. You know, it is uh, a potential future failure. So you want to block the whole, the whole surface. All right. I also cleaned up the radiator. All right, one more thing. Remember that uh, code, what was it? P0028? I think it was 28. For the driver's side variable intake thingy. 
So I did order one from SubaruParts.com for a hundred bucks. This guy here. Now, when so I, so I just did remove it from the body over here, one ten bolt right here. And once you get this going, and of course, obviously, a new gasket. This was leaking, by the way. Can't really tell. Okay, from here. Anyways, you're gonna find this little mesh filter which sits right in here okay clean this out guys grab it remove it be careful I used a small tiny sm a small screwdriver took this out if it doesn't wanna come out spin this pushing these little tabs don't be sticking your screwdriver in where the mesh filter is okay you don't want to mess this up anyways take it out spray a uh, brake cleaner on the outside of it and you're done make sure it's you can see through it okay you should be able to see through it anyways and then i'm gonna obviously clean this up now this is just empty passages at this point make sure this guy is clean and ready for the new solenoid guys update so i've been cleaning stuff found out I'm, I'm gonna wait a while for the gasket set so I went and uh, you know cleaned up this uh, front of the engine here and started to tighten up the belt timing belt tensioner and this bolt here this thread that's where it goes this just gave up look at this See the thread in there? I just did a video on heli coils and uh, I had trouble, well, you know how the intake attaches to the heads, you know, the intake manifold. Two of those were stripped, I believe it was on the left side. And I uh, had to use heli coils. Uh, luckily for me, I already have this, this size that I need. So I'm gonna have to fix that. Drill this out. This is a through and through hole. Then uh, make new thread, install the heli coil, and tighten it up. Perfect. Last time it did didn't even get to 18.